Rhino Pence is not on my list. Oh, there is a 65 car. I see him. I do apologize. He sits there on the outside of Bowden Mitchell. Right, Francois, we are about to go racing. Lights go on, lights go off, and away they go. And it looks like Andy Rackstraw is going to try and get the whole shot. DJ Boyster gets a lovely start of the line down towards KFM corner. Rackstraw looks to shut him out and Boyston slips up behind him in second place. Into turn number one they go. They roll around out of the 180, make their way up towards the UB straight now. As the cars file through uh, turn number one, it is your leader Andrew Rackstraw who makes his way up now towards uh, G Energy Corner. And uh, having a look there, Byron Mitchell already they're hunting the uh, back end there of uh, DJ Boyson. DJ Boyson uh, taking a little bit easy out of G Energy now as Andy Rackstraw piles on the pressure and exits down through the dim into... Uh, Turn number three, and keep an eye there on Byron Mitchell as he sits up right up there behind uh, DJ Boyson. It's close stuff there now. Can Mitchell close down? Well, we'll have a look at them now as they head into turn number four, into uh, Karke Clinic Corner. Down the back main they go now. These are your leaders. Down the back straight. Look at him disappear down the road. Andy Rackstraw, he is light years away from this dice down. Look at Byron Mitchell through on the inside at DJ Boyson. Mitchell on the inside, Boyson on the outside. And not a damn thing that DJ can do to stop Byron Mitchell as they head down into turn five into Fostron corner. Well, coming out of Fostron now is your leader, Andrew Rackstraw. There he goes now up towards the start finish line. And you see now Byron Mitchell leading out there from DJ Boyson as they exit the kink now down the main straight they go now and uh, well Andy Rackstraw was just abducted and disappeared with a full array of guns blazing so he's got a good healthy lead there over Byron Mitchell Byron Mitchell trying to get away there now from DJ Boyson as they enter the Ube straight they go towards G Energy corner they'll stop on the brakes gear down two gears as they work away around that right hand and now Byron Mitchell's moving the ante a little bit he wants to go in search of Andrew Rackstraw. He's probably got about a five-second lead over him already. Rackstraw is not hanging around there. Mitchell goes through the kick down towards turn number two. Still a bit of water on the circuit, so they can't uh, go too fast. But they're on wet weather tires. And you can see the track is drying up on the exit there of uh, turn number three. Byron Mitchell stomps on the loud pedal and makes his way up towards Carcare Clinic corner there. DJ Boyson's got absolutely no retort whatsoever now as they work their way down the uh, Kalani main back straight. And Byron Mitchell is now upping the ante. He's pulled a sizable gap over DJ Boyson as he makes his way down towards Fostron Corner. Your leader, Rackstraw, has already exited Fostron and is making his way up towards the line. Now he comes through the kink into the uh, corner goes. Mitchell, Mitchell now exiting. Mitchell exiting now, but uh, I can tell you what, Rackstraw has now gone down the road already going into turn one as Byron Mitchell exits out through the kink. Followed there by DJ Boyson. Well, I'm looking at these cars going down the back straight, heading now towards turn five. These are a lot of uh, class uh, C cars that are going down into turn five, Cape Town corner. Through they come now. And Richard Cars leading this group out there from uh, Rayno Pence. Then there is a class A car that's lost there with them. Between them, that is Damon White as he splashes through the water. And here they come towards us, Richard Carr, right on his back bumper is Rayner Pence, followed there by Damon White. We'll stick with these three as they head into turn one, which is KFM Corner, and look at him, have a look up on the inside, Rayner Pence. Will he make the move on the inside of Richard Carr? These are two uh, Class C cars, yes, Rayner Pence makes a move there on uh, Richard Carr, but Richard Carr fights back. And Richard Carr takes that position back away there from Rayner Pence heading into G Energy Corner. And right on their case, as Carr runs wide, is the Class A car of Damien White. Well, Damien White coming out of turn number two, going through the kink there now. Has a look at this spectacle. He's got a lot of power underfoot there now. Rayner Pence has a lot of short circuit racing experience and he loves this part of the circuit now and he's getting on the gas there quite quickly he used the brakes he actually sort of drifted it into turn one to get past uh, Richard Carr there now but they make their way now up towards uh, car care clinic corner turn number four in front of him and he'll have to negotiate his way past them well I'm looking at the third place man that's making his way into turn five 
down into turn five, fast on corner. That's the Daiko uh, machine there of uh, DJ Boyson. We have a look and see if we can pick up DJ. There he comes out of turn five. We've still got the white flag on the out. It means it's a slow moving vehicle on the circuit. Here he comes onto the main straight now. That is the Daiko Automatic Machine of DJ Boyce. And that's a new motor car that they built. Bertus Hafenga bought the old, uh, sorry, Bertus Lambrag bought the old car of uh, DJ Boyce. Bertus not racing it today. But uh, DJ Boyce that's sitting there in third position working his way towards turn two G Energy Corner. As you see, he's going into turn two. That is a brand new motor car that he is debuting here this afternoon. Oh, DJ Boyson in the Renault uh, doing pretty well with the uh, VW power plant as he works his way down through uh, turn number three. It seems like we're starting to see some dry patches on the circuit now. This will be interesting as the uh, sun might shine a little bit over lunchtime. I'm sure the, uh, the folks on the motorcycles are rubbing hands together now, but DJ Boyson coming out of uh, Car Care Clinic Corner. We've got two laps to go, still the quickest man out there, Andy Rackstraw, now posting a time of a 1 minute 20.2. And he's uh, doing fantastically well. As, uh, and uh, there's a spinner, Damien White, out on the exit of turn two. But nonetheless, now going into a fast run corner now is your man, DJ Boyson. And uh, we look to the other side of turn two. There you see uh, Damien White trying to find his feet again. As he uh, works his way out, Damien White in the Formula GTI Ray from Draken Racing he, uh, gets himself back up and running. And he's only got two laps to go, so not too much to, to do still there now. As we see Byron Mitchell coming up out to the exit of uh, Park Care Clinic Corner to number four, making his way down the back straight. And Mitchell's been having a pretty solid race. Maybe not the same pace as the race leader, Andy Rackstraw, but his times. Well, he's about a second and a half off there, hence the immense gap, but still a great drive nonetheless. Well, if we look uh, heading up towards uh, turn number two, G Energy Corner, on the final lap, there goes your race leader as we see him head into uh, turn number two. This is the last lap. That is Andrew Rackstraw working his way out of G Energy Corner, so we'll stay with... Uh, with Andy Rackstraw on the final lap as he runs that thing as hard as he can down into Damster, picking up a slower marker there in uh, Damster. The slower driver just keeps right out the way as he races it up the KFM straight towards turn four, Carcare Clinic. He is now ending his second sector and he'll start his final sector now on the final lap. That is your leader all the way down the back main, we'll put a lap on this car that he picks up in front of him, heading towards uh, turn number five, fast run corner, races around him as quick as he can through that corner. He knows the checkered flag is out, and the checkered flag will meet and greet race winner, Andrew Rackstraw. Race number one is done and dusted. Rackstraw pulls this one off very comfortably indeed. Well, a formidable car to his Andrew Rackstraw and just as much a formidable open seat uh, driver. He showed now in the uh, Formula VW Reynard that he's got the expertise to do that. Some great skills out there. Second man, Byron Mitchell, should be coming out of uh, turn number five now. Indeed he is. Byron Mitchell coming out of turn number five. There he comes now. Your second place man, Byron Mitchell. And uh, he hasn't done too badly. A difference of 29 seconds between himself and uh, Andy Rexor. So Andy really abducted, disappeared, checked out, said have a nice day. Now we look for uh, DJ Boyson, our third place man. He's coming out of uh, turn number four. He's uh, down the back straight. He comes there. There comes uh, DJ Boyson. And he's going to work his way down into, uh, goes down the back straight, down towards turn number five. He should be coming into the turn number five pretty shortly as he slams on anchors. There he comes, onto the brakes there, down through the gearbox he runs and takes a nice right-hander. Third place man there, DJ Boyson, he's in the uh, Formula Reynard. He's also acquitted himself very well, also a seasoned uh, campaigner, so he knows what's expected of him as he crosses the line. Well folks, that's been a fantastic race and uh, we're going to break for a luncheon interval.